Hello everyone welcome to pediatrics by Dr Anand such a beautiful day today let's start off this class so yes today's topic of choice we're going to talk about is neurology bahut khushi se happy se bahut positive tarike se padhenge with a extreme positive you know attitude let's finish this whole subject and please tell yourself i'm reading this topic for the first and last time pehli aur aakhri baar pad rahe hain sunne grahan kare norshad ka exam dein fir sab kuch nikal dein <laughs> so child's neurology okay as in this chapter so how many fontanelles and how many sutures do we have? Have. so please note we have six fontanelle and four sutures we have six fontanelle and four suture simple question we have six fontanelle and four suture and most importantly which is the diamond shape fontanelle the diamond shape fontanelle is the anterior fontanelle anterior fontanelle is diamond shape it takes around one and a half year or some book says it takes around two years for the anterior fontanelle to fuse so this is the last one to fuse that star mark that's an mcq and posterior fontanelle closes by two to three months and if the posterior fontanelle is not closing in the uh, mcq please remember the baby might be suffering from congenital hypothyroidism we had a mcq in congenital hypothyroidism the baby's posterior fontanelle was not closing is like a four months old baby 5 months old baby with open posterior fontanelle the answer is congenital hypothyroidism that is that's it sphenoid and mastoid fontanelle when does it closes has never been an mcq so it's okay will not remember that cephal hematoma very importantly and caput succedaneum we all know that cephal hematoma this both cephal hematoma we know they are uh, okay cephal hematoma okay fine it is never present at the birth instead it develops a few hours after the birth matlab well, one point is right only for example if i hit my head with the wall if i hit my head with the wall agar divar se सर लग जाए तो इस टाइम तो स्वेलिंग नहीं आएगी सुबह उठ के देखेंगे तो आप बोलोगे अरे तो बहुत ज्यादा स्वेलिंग सी आई हुई आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट्स हाउ एनी इंजरी गोज यू नो इफ आई गेट अ ट्रॉमा राइट नाउ राइट नाउ विल नॉट बी द स्वेलिंग लेटर ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम 12 टू 24 फोर आवर्स आफ्टर द बर्थ द बेबी विल हैव द स्वेलिंग एंड यू समाइम सेकेंड डे आफ्टर बर्थ सो फाइन आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट एंड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द फोर्सेस डिलीवरी ट्रोमैटिक डिलीवरी यू नो इंस्ट्रूमेंटल डिलीवरी वेरी ट्रू दैट्स राइट अच्छा प्री मेच्योर फ्यूजन ऑफ द Topic suture causes trigonocephaly. Sagittal suture causes dolichocephaly, which is also known as scaphocephaly. And premature fusion of the coronal suture causes brachycephaly. And tell me one syndrome which is associated with brachycephaly? Down syndrome. Down syndrome patient का सर छोटा होता है. Down syndrome patient is down only, small only. Their head also is small, and that is brachycephaly. which is the most common form of childhood brain tumor which is the most common form of childhood brain tumor medulloblastoma medulloblastoma is the most common childhood brain tumor remember that acha neural tube defect the most common acha neural tube defect is the most common congenital anomaly of the cns that's very true the most common uh, neurological problem or uh, yeah cns problem in the whole cns chapter is a neural tube defect there are various types of neural tube defect myelomeningocele nnkefaly encephalospheal spina bifida we have done that neural tube defect okay means there is a defect in the neural tube and neural tube forms brain and the spinal cord so spina bifida is a birth defect in which there is incomplete closure of the spine and membrane around the spinal cord it's a neural tube defect so we all know that that's very true okay what is the mcq so very importantly remember so uh, okay the mcq is spina bifida occulta spina bifida occulta has the best prognosis which neural tube defect has the best prognosis spina bifida occulta occulta means hidden but the defect is hidden hidden by what the defect basically has a hairy patch on the lower back the baby will have a bunch of hair at the lower back so that basically will happen in spina bifida occulta occulta means hidden occulta means hidden it's a hidden defect remember that okay done then we have meningocele is another type of neural spina bifida or another type of neural tube defect this is a meningeal sac meningocele meningocele will have a sac where it will have a cystic swelling and that cystic swelling basically contains the cerebrospinal fluid okay what is hydrocephalus hydrocephalus is the build up of fluid in the ventricles deep within the brain yeah we all know that in hydrocephalus one sign they call say two signs are important one is sunset sign one is sunset 
offset sign and one is mac event sign mac event sign okay mac event sign nothing but it's like a crackpot sound if you percuss the one part of the skull on the other part you will hear a sound of crackpot ek taraf percuss karenge to idhar ghada tootne ki awaaz aayegi if you percuss the one part of the skull the other side you will hear the sound of a crackpot known as crackpot sign so crackpot sign and second is sunset sign they both are seen in hydrocephalus bacterial meningitis is the most common type of meningitis affecting the children less than 5 years so less than 5 years of age the most common meningitis type of meningitis is bacterial meningitis and what are the various signs of meningitis we have kernick sign we have brudzinski sign and we have neck rigidity kernick sign brudzinski sign and neck rigidity neck rigidity as in if i tell the patient to look up he will say no 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 i can i can't look up i have pain in my neck so he like neck rigidity so neck rigidity kernick and brudzinski are the three important signs of meningitis of course to test for the for test to be done for meningitis is a lumbar puncture you do lp of every patient why do lumbar puncture in a case of meningitis to look for the csf report csf will tell us is whether it is a bacterial meningitis or tubercular meningitis what are the various signs of raised intracranial pressure so basically kernick brudzinski and neck rigidity are the signs of meningitis and signs of raised intracranial pressure is you know in, uh, kind of a crackpot sound vomiting headache confusion you whatever you say photophobia diplopia focal deficit all these are signs of raised intracranial tension child is very irritable he is not sleeping well you know unconsolable cry that's it what is cushing stride cushing stride is nothing but it involves the bradycardia hypertension and irregular respiration so please remember bradycardia hypertension and irregular respiration is cushing stride okay and communicating hydrocephalus is the most serious complication of meningitis in young children the most serious complication of meningitis in young children is communicating hydrocephalus and cerebral spinal fever is well known as meningococcal meningitis meningococcal meningitis it is means it is caused by neisseria meningitis and that basically cause this affect our csf and that is known as csf fever okay now very importantly ray syndrome ray syndrome okay so a uh, ray syndrome is one of the toxicity of the aspirin also and ray syndrome it is a acute encephalopathy uh, following a viral illness following a viral infection i got uh, encephalopathy i will have cerebral edema fatty changes in the liver and most importantly use of aspirin in this treating in children to treat influenza is contraindicated as it may lead to ray syndrome well we avoid aspirin basically one liner we avoid aspirin in, in the babies uh, that causes ray syndrome okay and what is the nursing intervention in ray syndrome so this child is having very irritable he's very he's having very cerebral edema and all those things so you want to provide him a quiet atmosphere and dim lighting so quiet atmosphere and dim lighting is something you'll provide to the baby cerebral palsy is a congenital disorder of movement muscle and tone so m m n t m m t make my trip movement muscle and tone it's a congenital disorder of movement and muscle and tone so what are the leg findings you have in a case of cerebral palsy so scissoring gait star mark mcq we have in our photo also bachcha kanchi ki tarah tight rehta hai ekdam scissoring gait is something which is important is there one is scissoring gait and one is cortical thumb वन इज सिजरिंग गेट एंड वन इज कॉटिकल थम वट इज कॉटिकल थम बच्चे का अंगूठा हमेशा अंदर की तरफ रहता है ऐसे अंगूठा रहता है बच्चे का द बेबी इज थम इज ऑलवेज लाइक दिस नॉर्मल इज लाइक दिस बच्चे का अंगूठा हमेशा अंदर रहेगा सो कॉटिकल थम एंड बच्चा कैंची की तरह टाइट रहेगा द बेबी विल हैव अ सिजरिंग गेट सो दीज टू थिंग्स आर सीन इन सेरिब्रल पैलसी बेबिंसकी साइन इज कंसिडर्ड नॉर्मल इन न्यू बॉन्स वेर एज बेबिंसकी साइन इन एडल्ट इज अ अपर मोटर न्यूरोन लिजन दैट्स वेरी ट्रू एक साल से कम के बच्चों में अगर सोल को ऐसे वो स्ट्रोक करेंगे स्टिमुलेट करेंगे तो तो जो एक्सटेंसर प्लांटर रिस्पॉन्स है इसको कहते हैं बेबिंस की रिस्पॉन्स एंड दैट इज नॉर्मल इन लेस देन वन ईयर बट इट इज एब नॉर्मल इन मोर देन वन ईयर इफ यू स्ट्रोक द यू नो द प्लांटर सर्फेस ऑफ अ बेबी नॉर्मली इन एडल्ट नॉर्मल इज फ्लेक्सर प्लांटर रिस्पॉन्स एब नॉर्मल इज एक्सटेंसर प्लांटर रिस्पॉन्स दोज बिकम एक्सटेंसर बट लेस देन वन ईयर शोइंग एक्सटेंसर प्लांटर रिस्पॉन्स इज नॉर्मल प्लीज रिमेम but that adult showing an extensive plantar response is abnormal generalized tonic clonic seizure in children are also known as grand mal seizure it is also known as grand mal seizure and airway management and injury prevention are the primary in nursing intervention for seizure so airway and injury prevention is something you have to 
understand done so that finishes these important parts okay neuro this part is done next we have is pediatric emergency and behavioral disorders burn are the most common type of accidents found in toddler burns are the most common type of accidents found in toddlers what is pica pica is nice eating of non-nutritive substances such as wood charcoal paint or nuts for at least one month someone have a pie having pica please please rule out iron deficiency anemia please rule out iron deficiency anemia and please make sure you give the worm tablet albendazole basically a worm deworming tablet is something we give so less than two year baby we give 200 mg and more than two year baby we give 400 mg that is the what you call the dose of albendazole less than two year 200 and more than two year is 400 mg okay pica is normal up to the age of two years okay fine children with pica are at risk of lead poisoning they are at risk of iron deficiency anemia also and lead poisoning also what is encoparesis encoparesis is passing feces in at the inappropriate place uh, you know after five years okay so yeah passing feces basically that is encoparesis and it is a serious form of emotional disturbance in children due to unconscious anger stress and anxiety for everything nocturnal enuresis encoparesis everything Thing is because of stress anxiety and anger what are ticks ticks like like doing something like this is coach but you have to say cut them go with it so these all are habits are known as ticks. They are sudden and abnormal involuntary movements which are repetitive. They are repetitive and they are purposeless. They have no purpose at all. They are repetitive. They are purposeless, purposeless rapid movements basically. Face, neck and all these things are involved. The disorder order of recur recurrent pulling out of one's own hair is trichotillomania. This is question in the exam. Mein. Trichotillomania, trichotillomania and what is trichobizarre? Trichobizarre is nothing but but eating your own hair so trichobizarre which is like eating your own hair and if i see your stomach it's full of the hair your own hairs and pulling out of one own hairs is trichotillomania okay and your is the other name is bedwetting best treatment of bedwetting is alarm therapy you know motivational therapy so motivational therapy or alarm therapy that is the treatment of choice and what is the age cut off for, cut off for nocturnal and more than five years someone who is more than five years passing urine in the bed that is bad so question is age cut off that is more than five, five years question is what is the treatment of choice the answer is motivation therapy alarm therapy so when you have a child you have to wake up at night you have to wake up at night you have to wake up at night and you have to wake up at night whether you have to wake up at night midnight 2 o'clock you put an alarm and make sure the baby goes to washroom even though he wants to pass the susu or not that's what and last thing what is the drug of choice doc kya hai of nocturnal aneurysis d for doc d for Desmopressin, antidiuretic hormones, a drug of choice. But again, that's the drug of choice. But choice, but we have never ever given. Why? Because the relapse rate are very much with the desmopressin. Okay, that you should know. One bar kya hota hai? Kachua hota hai. Mala, one bar kya hota hai? Ki ek kachua hota hai aur kachua ko na ek kuch scientists pani mein dalte hain. Wo pati ek patila hota hai. Usme aada pani bharte hain aur kachua ko dalte hain. Mala, kachua bolay ya use hai frog, mandak leke chalo chalo. Thik hai? Ek mandak hota hai. Usko ham patile mein dalte hain. Aada pani बस हमने रखा और हमने मेंढक को डाल दिया साइंटिस्ट क्या करते हैं नीचे से आग लगाना शुरू करते हैं एक्चुअली क्या होता है कि मतलब एक बॉडी कॉल्ड फ्रॉग में एक हैबिट होती है वो ठंडे में ठंडा हो जाता है गर्म में गर्म हो जाता है राइट तो जितना ज्यादा साइंटिस्ट उसका टेंपरेचर बढ़ाते हैं बढ़ाते हैं बढ़ाते बढ़ाते फ्रॉग ना अडॉप्ट करता है अडॉप्ट करता है और गर्म होता है और गर्म होता है बिकॉज़ द फ्रॉग हैज अ एबिलिटी टू अडॉप्ट विद द वाटर बेसिकली सो इन इंग्लिश इफ आई से वंस अपॉन अ टाइम व्हेन फ्रॉग वाज देयर दैट साइंटिस्ट व्हाट दे टुक दे पुट द rock into a, a beaker which has half water and it is half empty the and they were increasing the temperature of the beaker so more they were boiling the beaker the frog has an ability to adapt with the environment in the cold temperature he becomes cold in the hot temperature automatically he tries to compensate with the environment so more they were increasing the temperature the more the frog was adapting theek hai jitna wo tez kar rahe the frog apne aap adapt kar raha tha us garam pani se ek aisa point aaya jab frog 
फ्रॉग ने डिसाइड किया कि वो जम करेगा नाउ द एंड पॉइंट केम वेन द फ्रॉग डिसाइडेड दैट आई कैन नो लॉन्गर टेक इट एंड आई नीड टू जम्प और साइंटिस्ट ने तब ये देखा कि फ्रॉग अपनी सारी की सारी एनर्जी एडजस्ट करने में लगा चुका था सो आई रिपीट अगे या तो फ्रॉग ने क्या देखा तो फ्रॉग ने ये देखा तो कि वो अपनी सारी की सारी एनर्जी जो है वो एडजस्ट करने में लगा चुका था कि उसके पास ताकत ही नहीं थी उड़ने के मतलब जम करने के लिए एंड द फ्रॉग डाइट सो साइंटिस्ट दे सॉ दैट इज फ्रॉग हैज हैज बर्न आउट ऑल द कैलरीज इन एडजस्टिंग विद द वॉटर एंड ही हैड नो लॉन्गर एनी एनर्जी टू जम्प and the frog expired so what is the moral of the story what is the moral of the story the moral of the story is ke agar if you are there in any toxic relationship as abusive relationship abusive relationship or any friendship which you don't feel good you should evacuate yourself as soon as possible because uh, by the end of the by the end of adjusting 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 you should not come to a conclusion where you no longer have the energy to evacuate so think about it and that's it take okay, let's take a quick break let's start off after this okay yes thank you <laughs> 